Okay, well, one of the most inspiring stories from the Paris Olympics came from Britain's Georgia Bell. She quit running but made a comeback two years ago when she started going on park runs, the same ones that thousands of people do every weekend. Yeah, her love of running returned. She qualified for the Olympics and won an amazing bronze medal in the 1500 metres, breaking the British record in the, pr in the process. And uh, delighted to say uh, she joins us now. Georgia, a very good morning uh, to you. And not much time for rest. You're on the track on a Saturday morning, I understand. <laughs> yeah, good morning. I am down at the track in Manchester for my first track session since the race, which was a week ago. So, yeah, it's going to be a bit of a shock to the system. <laughs> ask you about that race then. The pace was so quick in the final. I mean, I think we were all watching here. Um, did, did that take you by surprise? Did you have to change how you kind of tackled it from a tactical point of view? I think we knew it was going to be really quick, um, so my tactic was just to not let a gap go. Um, we went out straight away, it was full gas from the gun, and my, my goal was just, I knew I could finish strong as long as I was there with 100 metres to go till the finish, so yeah, it was just digging deep in the middle there when it really hurt, um, and, and making sure I could hang on. How have the last couple of weeks been? How do you reflect on it all now? Does it feel like a blur? <laughs> it's. Yeah, it does feel like a blur. It's crazy how, you know, you build your life up to one moment and it's over in three minutes, 52 seconds. Um, but it was so special. Like that whole day was just amazing. Definitely the best day of my life. And being with so many people in the stadium afterwards, seeing all the Team GB fans and friends and family, um, it was just, yeah, such a special moment. Just been dusting a little bit and then yeah back into back into business because I'm racing again next week in the Diamond League so not too long to to rest up because we've got more to do this season. Back to yeah. business I was going to say but there is a note here to say that you've been to see Taylor Swift which I am so jealous about how was that? Yeah me not so much. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it was really good fun. I got to see her this week. Um, so, yeah, that was amazing. Just taking a bit of time to enjoy these kind of special moments over this past week. And, yeah, she yeah, she was incredible. A lot of respect for Taylor. <laughs> yeah, I mean, in the last couple of years, Georgia, um, you've knocked about 25 seconds off your pace for the 1500 metres since you've been tra training with, with Jenny Meadows and her partner Trevor Painter. I mean, if you keep going at this rate, what, what's, mm -hmm. what's possible? I mean, you, you, do you think about things like world records? I mean, you, it's, it's been an amazing progression for you. Yeah, definitely. I mean, the start of this season, every goal we set, we were kind of breaking. So I've been to races, trying not to put any limits on what is achievable. Um, just really enjoying the race, being really grateful to be back racing again you know I never thought I'd step on step foot on a track again and and here I am being able to race at the Olympics and things like that so um yeah I think there's definitely more to come the training group is obviously doing so well so I'm just enjoying the moment for now but we definitely have big goals for the future too and you, you mentioned the future but I mean Dame Kelly Holmes 34 winning medals you'll be the same age when the next Olympics come around in LA have can you think about that or does it just feel too far away right now? Yeah, no, I can. I got the opportunity to see Kelly this week, actually, and she kind of said, you're exactly on my trajectory. She won a bronze when she was 30 years old at the Sydney Olympics and then went on to do the double gold four years later. So she was kind of really encouraging. And we've both had unconventional routes. You know, she was in the army and got into track and I obviously took time away and did some different sports and then got back into track. So. Um, I think it's just really promising to see that other people have done those unconventional routes and had that success. And yeah, I'm definitely looking towards LA now. Um, we've got more stuff in the interim. We've got Worlds next year in Tokyo, but I think LA is definitely something that we're working towards now. Yeah, I mean, you mentioned those kind of alternative routes, uh, Georgia. You work in cyber security. You're given time off to pursue your Olympic dreams. Mm -hmm. I, I gather your colleagues have been very supportive with watch parties. What, what's it been like and have you made a decision about kind of returning to work? 
Um, at the moment, the plan is to return to work, so we'll just see how the rest of the summer goes. But yeah, work have been super supportive. Like, it's definitely difficult to do both. I've spent a lot of this past year trying to juggle training around a full day job. Um, but yeah, uh, they've just been really supportive, doing all the watch parties and, and giving me the break over the summer to aim for it. And yeah, it's obviously paid off, so I'm super happy and grateful for that. Um, just finally from us, we said in the introduction that you'd been doing park runs. So I just wonder if anyone watching <laughs> does a park run on the weekend who, who's watched the Olympics and been really inspired, what is your message to them? I would just say, you know, parkrun is just such an easy, accessible thing. It's free, it's all over the UK, and no matter what level you are, it's just such a good way to kind of measure your fitness week on week and see those improvements. So it doesn't matter what stage you are, what age you are, getting down to parkrun is such a good way to just making sure that you're exercising regularly and, and see those improvements. And yeah, I'll I'll be doing park runs in the future, like my, me and my family always do them on Christmas Day. So um, I just encourage everyone to get down to it and there's nothing to lose. Well, thank you so much for your time. Congratulations again um, and we look forward to following you. Good thank luck with you. it all.